Hello, hello friends. This is Kim and you're watching All Things Kimberly. I'm a full-time worker who has three side hustles. I'm on a journey to become debt-free by the time I retire in three to seven years. My goal is to help future generations in my family break the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck and also help you along the way. If this interests you, please stick around and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like, like, like this video. I would appreciate it so much. All right, let's get started. Okay, up first, we're gonna take a look at work your apps off, and I'm saving mine for travel. Let me zoom you in just a tad. Okay, up first is our US Bank. That's our credit card. We try to use everything we can on that credit card and pay it off as we go. This is where I'm getting the most money. So far, we have $600 in US Bank just in travel rewards. Fetch, my second favorite, we are up to $50. Speedway, I just started, but I'm up to $15. Receipt Hog, still only five. I'm probably gonna close this out. My time is worth more than that, you guys. And it takes a long time to scan all of these receipts into these apps. Coin app, the same, or, yeah, coin out the same thing, $5. Probably gonna close it out. On the second page, we have receipt jar. We are up to 10 on it, so I may keep it. I don't know if it's still worth it, I'm not sure. Receipt pal, $10, Mary filled $10. So if you add the totals up, we had 30 on this page. We have six seventy-five on this page for a total of seven hundred and five dollars so far with our apps for money for travel. Now, with that being said, I am going to close out several of these, or not close them out, cash in several of these for my trip coming up this month to Tennessee. Definitely the U.S. Bank, probably the Fetch, maybe the Speedway. I think I only like a few points of getting this up to $25, or I think I think it's $25 for cash and fuel, so probably those three. I will probably see how much I like to get to $10 in these two, close them out, and then not continue them. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, friends, I look back and realized I did not do a video for June on my investments, so we're gonna take a quick look at what we did in June. So, for June, our starting annual income was 613, ending was 667, that was an increase of $56. Here are the changes I made in June. This ended up being the total shares, not what I actually bought. This is just the easiest way for me to do it quickly and figure it out. This is where I update it in Track Your Dividends. So I did make a purchase in T Target, ExxonMobil, OKE, Lockheed Mead, PXD, Duke, JEPQ, MO, and STAG. My new purchase was JEPQ for $477.70. I sold FDIS, VOX, and Marvel. I made $200, $325, and $54.98. I didn't think those were growing well, so I wanted to get, in, get rid of them and get into something else. My dividends for the month, oh, I invested actual cash of $325 and my dividends for the month totaled $72.94. And if you wanna see a screenshot, this is what each of them were. I'm not gonna read through that. So that was that was pretty good. Um, for this month, when I got online and looked, 
my annual income had went down $8. I don't know which one it was, but it went out down $8. So we started at $6.59. We ended at $7.15. That was an increase of $48 or $56 if you want to count the eight. Either way you want to do it. Um, my investments were AMCR, ARCC, O, ORC, PSEC, PXD, CVX, Lockhead Mead, GNK, Duke, P S P H D S P Y D. I have updated them all. That's how I got the number of uh, how much our ending was 715 annual income. I had no new purchases. I did have a sale. I sold Target, the same reason. I just didn't see it growing as fast as I wanted it to grow. And I'm not talking about the money I invest in it. I looked back over the last several years and it just doesn't seem to be gaining very well. So I wanted to go ahead and get out of it. My cash investment was 325 again. Here are the dividends I received, total amount of 3335 this month. Okay, what does that all add up to? Here's where I keep everything in review. So for June, as I said, we had the 325 investment. We had dividends of 72.94. Our annual income was 667, and our total cash out of pocket invested was $11,405.52. That does not include the dividends I make. I did not put the end of the month how much I was up or down. I forgot to do that, but I did do it for July. In July, we invested 325. We had dividends of 3335. We had an annual income of 715. Total amount of cash out of pocket invested was 11,730.52. I don't know how I've got that 52 cents in there, but I have. Um, and our stocks were up $1,760.71, which means that's how much money I was earning on them. So, that is looking very good, very good. All right, let's see what we're gonna get into next. Okay, we are taking a look at our retirement, and we have, like I said, we have invested total cash of $11,730. I'm gonna drop that 52. We had 8,255 at the end of last year, which means we have invested $3,475. Sorry about the puppy scratching. Someone dropped two little beagles off at our campground. Take a look, I'll insert a pic. was about two or three weeks ago. They dropped them off when my grandbabies was here. So they have laid claim to those puppies. I have named them Bonnie and Clyde. They're trying to get in the house. Rusty's trying to get out to them. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so our total is $34.75 for cash and our investments so far toward stocks for the year is $325, 650 825 700 325 I should have already added this up, but I didn't, and 325 So we are at 6950 which means we have exceeded how much I wanted to which means we have exceeded how much I wanted to up my retirement this year, which is amazing. So we're gonna get a finished color in this. And we are at 69.50. I need to notate that somewhere. So as of July, we're just gonna go ahead and call it, oh, not July. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are in August, are we not? July went by so fast. Okay, as of August 3rd, we were at 69.50, okay.
So, I think I'll do a little chit chat while I'm coloring. I hope everyone is doing well. I am, I've been busy, but if you've saw my previous video, I am taking steps to cut down on work at the campground so I can have more free time for myself and enjoy that new side-by-side -side we bought. We're getting ready to talk about that thing. <laughs> and uh, have more time for my Etsy shop and my YouTube channel because those are things I absolutely enjoy. I do enjoy the campground, but not nearly as much as Etsy and YouTube. The campground is my husband's baby, not mine. I do help him with it but he is the one that really, really loves it. So, with that being said, hopefully this month my videos will get back on track. I will be able to upload more and spend more time with you guys. That is my hope. Okay. That's looking good. Let's see if we can find... Man, this has really done well, you guys. It is just August, and I've already met my goal for the year, which is good since we bought the side-by-side. -side. This is, no, that's not the right color. Um, and I don't know what that's gonna do to our budget. It's really kind of messed things up for me on my payoff plan, but you just got to roll with the punches. I don't think that's the exact right color, but that's okay. So this is completed. Yay. Yay. Look at there. We were hoping for $57.45, and we have already met $69.50. That's great. That is great, great, great. Okay. Hospital bills. I have made the payments on these. We didn't do the update for June, so it was up to here. And as you can see, I don't, unless something happens, I'm not gonna meet my goal of paying off um, $3,750. But now, I still haven't filed my taxes. So if I get money back from my taxes, I will put it toward hospital bills, getting them paid up, then figure out what else we're gonna pay off, which will probably go toward that new side by side because it's got the highest interest rate. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and we've paid July's. But I am making progress, baby steps, baby steps. That's what we have to do. Absolutely, as long as you stay consistent and work towards your goals, you will get there. Maybe not as fast as you wanted, but you will get there. Consistency is key, my friends. Okay, there's the hospital bills. Now, people, I don't know what happened to me, but I forgot to keep my Acadia bill and my house payment. Well, where is my house payment? Oh, my house payment bill. So, we can't do any color in here because I don't know what the ending amounts are on them. We'll catch that up next month if I don't throw them away and forget it. And on this debt-free journey, we are just gonna skip it because like I said, we went and bought the new side-by-side, -side, so I'm gonna have to, I am not rewriting all this, you guys. So <laughs> I'm thinking I'll leave this as is and maybe just make some side notes over here for the side-by-side, -side. I don't know, but we'll figure it out as we go. I just gotta give myself a little grace, you know? Okay, so I think things are looking pretty good. Um, as I said, you'll be seeing whatever I cash out on this, you'll be seeing me stuff into the road trip binder very soon. We will update the house payoff and the car payoff as soon as I remember to get new bills in and keep them. Okay, so, so far this month, I have started working on the bills and they are coming in at 2,708. Um, 
The electric bill is up a bit. I haven't written in the planned amounts. I got this done really quickly. Shell Point, you know, that's my house. It's usually three oh five. We pay three fifty. I usually budget three hundred for electric. It came in at higher at three twenty two. Let's just take a look at what we usually. And we'll put that in there real quick. Um, no, wait a minute. I'm wrong. What am I doing? I usually budget three eighty. Right. Yeah, three eighty. They come in at three twenty two. So it's still under uh, 4515. I budget 45 for this. It came in at 40, 15 for this. It's right on track. Water 50. It is up because yes, we do have a leak and hubby still has not fixed it. He said, "Well, I bought the stuff to fix it with. Well, that doesn't do you any good unless you actually go out there and fix it." So he's costing me money, you guys. Okay, the Acadia's payment is seven seventy, I believe, and I pay eight hundred. State Farm is our insurance, and I might as well just it. It is our. We have insurance on to our his vehicle, which is a truck, my vehicle, which is the Acadia, his dump truck and our house insurance. So that's not too bad, you guys. I might as well just say I'm gonna budget 450 for it because it goes up and down when policies renew. Starlink, it's always the same. T-Mobile, it's the same. Frontier is the same. Dr. Bill's the same. Blink, the same. Netflix, the same. Disney, the same. Okay, all right, so that is done. And we haven't started on this stuff yet. So, we will update that in a future video. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I appreciate you so much sticking with me. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I will catch you in the next video, my friends. Bye for now.